Hello everyone and welcome back to Austin Talks channel where today we are talking about the review for Tales of the Jedi. Yes, uh, a week ago this was released and uh, so we're just going to break down uh, what it was like and uh, what my uh, visions are, are what, what I, my uh, perspective of this whole series is. There's no real way to jump into this, it's like... Um, I must say the poster so far is really, it was actually really good. Uh, but I think the best way to do this is, as always, just get stuck right into it. Right, first off, we always got to talk about Mr. Count Dooku, so we'll get on to him. Right, how good was this version? I really enjoyed watching the end of uh, uh, this, and there was an even better way to uh, way to say I want more of this. I wish they were doing uh, they were longer, but they were so good, especially the fight scenes between Yaddle and uh, Do Dooku, which were like the greatest scenes in uh, Star Wars anime animated history. I I just really stand by that, and it was also uh, where I w where I release um, where I. Re Re realize when it actually takes place when he mentions Qui-Gon Jinn's death she was like his death was not your fault I was like oh he uh, uh, oh. Um, then I went to go and watch Clone Wars then I realized he uh, not too early uh, descended to the dark side makes sense now yeah actually makes similar sense but like yeah i really enjoyed this segment the Yaddo and dooku fight is like the is the greatest fight in the star wars animated history despite the ones in um like clone wars i know they're good but this is probably one of the best so that's just my opinion so yeah right <laughs> i will say this this is quite funny the D Dooku's descent to the uh, like Dooku's descent into uh, the dark side. This is like kind of how it starts, and the big growth is actually where it all starts. This is funny, but in every episode you see his descent more and more to the dark side, and his br uh, and his beard descends with it. So first, uh, in first one he has none. Second, he has a tiny bit. He is unless it turns white, it's fine. Then he's now in full of dark side. With all due respect, throughout the series, you can see he is a living, like a double agent, like life until he chooses a side, which in, in this day and age is the exact same thing. You choose, In this day and age, you're practically choosing two sides, which I don't like. You know what I mean? I probably can't say it, but yeah, if you know, you know. Um, and yeah, like, I, I thought this was quite funny. I noticed it because I had to watch this uh, twice. I watched it and I was like, oh wait, his, his beard grows longer. Um, and I found that funny, so I think that's actually quite a visual to those descent into the dark side. But, like, I'm going to be honest, he does not look like, in the first episode, he does not look like Dooku. Second one, sure. The um, Third one, definitely. First one, you would have thought he was just a youngling. I, I really did not know at all. Right, I will say throughout this, Dooku is actually quite smart. Then smarter than you think. Throughout the series, he all he does is uh, seem smart, like the te like a telepath. But this is the only time we've ever seen him smart. I think that uh, white that white beard that white beard that said white bread that white beard and uh, and the beard growth it's making him think not so clear. Yeah, that white beard's not making him think so good. Like in Revenge of the Sith, not too smart. Clone Wars again, not too smart. Attack of the Clones. Yeah, that he was actually quite smart in that. So, yeah, I think this is before as he starts in the Sith, he's actually quite smart. I think that like white beard though is just getting to him. I think yeah, that's what I think. That's just my perspective of it. So yeah, well, oh my god. <laughs> Right, so to me, Qui Gon Jinn is actually like a true, true Jedi. I know, yeah, he dies, but like, he is a real, real tr uh, trooper in this. Whilst Dooku bends the rules, Qui Gon attempts to, Qui Gon attempts to be the one to direct him away from doing what he something he will regret. It seems like he is the master and Dooku is the apprentice. Not that Dooku has been the smart one in other aspects. This is the only time I've seen him. Uh, seeing him smart other than he uh, other than that he's really really stupid like uh, throughout the films if you go chronologically dooku is stupid really really stupid yeah don't get me wrong great character but very very dumb not 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 a uh, not big brain he got, he got negative brain cell um yeah it took me i said like it'll probably take me two hours to watch it 
I was wrong. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. That was really, really weird. Well, not an hour, maybe probably uh, one, and, uh, one and a half hours. But still, this series, though, is really, really short. That's why this review is really, really short. Uh, but, like, yeah, just, um... Yeah, this is a weird, it's a really weird one. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but, like, as I say, Qui-Gon is a true Jedi. Like, through, through and through. Same with Obi-Wan. Right, does it open doors for anything? Though it does not open doors to, uh, if, if um, uh, but it fills in gaps and weird ones too. I do like the, uh, I do like it because it makes it so much clearer and that it's something that is really needed in the Star Wars universe, uh, which is clearance. Clearance is really needed in the uh, Star Wars franchise and I know some people will disagree with that. But like some series, say for Andor example, that is a series that needs clearance. So, I think this is a good uh, series to do that. They have a great opportunity. They have all their aspects to cover. So, yeah, like, clearances, I think this is where they can shine. I, I do really think that. Um, and But if there's one thing that you could possibly do, like, you could uh, say if they did a next season is, um, which we'll get into on a little bit, they could do a Palpatine thing. Because Palpatine's a really weird character because not much is really known about him. And this series cannot open okay yeah so okay does it open doors to anything more palpatine throughout like from the start of the series from the start of the star wars franchise to the end he's been a long-lasting enemy where is his origin where is he from blah 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 i know he's from naboo but like all of these things could be um asked and these are very valuable questions and i think they're questions that should be asked who is with me like the dead silence. Now, let's get on to the review. I would give this put like an 8.4. This the series does it uh, does have its flaws, but I must uh, give it credit when credit is due and it has a good idea, uh, a good idea, but I could uh, but could have uh, been better definitely. That by the way, that is that applies to everyone and you'll see that on the slide. That is the same. There is no difference. Uh, so yeah, like it, it, it has it. Yes, it, this does have its flaws, but like it is good, and I'd say that as over and as an overall. But I give this segment an eight point four. Just please be longer, and I would have loved to see his descent to the red lightsaber. So now, let's get on to Ahsoka. Oh, by the way, Keith, I'm who actually agrees with me here. Who thinks it's higher? Who thinks it's lower? If you um if you agree with me, comment down below. If you disagree, I think it's higher or lower. Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your uh um uh like point of views to, throughout this. So yeah, I think that'd be quite good to see. Right now, now on to Ahsoka. That that but yeah, I mu I must say I love this uh like photo mainly because of the lightsabers. It reminds me of Rey and Obi Wan and Anakin mixed into one, and Ahsoka obviously. So yeah. And if you think about it, if you think about it, she is technically a combination of all them. She is a really skilled Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, so, easy, how good was it? But this part of the show evolved from, a weirdly, uh, from weirdly cute to let's get really deep into the Star Wars storyline. It went from, oh, we've had a newborn child to let's get real deep and deadly into the Star Wars universe. That's literally kind of what they did. The origin, the training, and the showdown, it was all pieced together like a pizza. P pieced together perfectly. And it was, re it was like, really well. But I will constantly say that it makes them longer. It makes them longer. Uh, just like, yeah, make them longer, I beg you. You have so much opportunity. I know animating is hard, but 20 minutes, they weren't even 20 minutes long. Not even the finale. Like, that, that's all I ask. Make them longer. You have time. You have money. And, and yeah, yeah, you definitely have money. Don't complain about that. But, like, yeah, I do think this was a really good segment, and I'll get on to why. In the second bit, so first episode, meh. Second episode, not too shabby. Third episode, goddamn diggity doll. And I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought that was actually uh, quite uh, quite fun. Uh, th this was a good segment. I like Ahsoka. And, uh, yeah. Whee! Oh, you're flying away. Okay. Right. 
Ahsoka origin, I will say, is really touching. Her origin is really touching to me. The origin is the best origin, and that is taking into account um account <laughs> that's been spelled wrong um into account mr anakin skywalker though his storyline and life were the uh, like were the best ahsoka's full sensitivity exposure uh, uh scene was the great was the greatest and sweetest reveal ever it was also con it also confuses me with her who actually is full sensitive because like i'm uh, you have to someone in your family has to be full sensitive that's what i've gathered like people don't know who Anakin's father is. Understandable. Like, but that mu he they must have been force sensitive. The the whole theory is everyone is, but have a, a different aspect of each other. If so, Ahsoka's power is through the roof. But then you have Anakin's that is reaching for the gods. Uh, Palpatine. He was like in he was the Jesus of the Force, but then turned into. <laughs> So, yeah, that's just, yeah. Oh, you're flying away, got it. So, the one thing I really like about Ahsoka is that she never gives up. This is a true representation that when someone doesn't get, does it give up, even if they have been knocked down about a hundred times, that is no reason to give up. Anakin truly believes in her, and I think this that is something that should uh, have been expressed more in the Clone Wars series, but still truly the best animated series in the world. I take that to my grave. The Clone Wars best animated series ever, but and it kind of, kind of. I don't. I am a person that gave up with something this week. So, in class in maths, there's a lot of scrap paper that goes around. So, I when I have a piece of scrap paper, I go to the bin and I try and like copy it in. Everyone in my class, they get it in. Me, no. I always miss. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I've not got one yet, but let, let, let's, let's hope with that I do at least one point in my life. Uh, but, yeah, so, like, I would just like to get this, uh, I just, I just want to get some paper in the bin. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask? Tell me, is it too much to ask? Um, but, yeah, like, that's just, um, that's just, like, the world now. <laughs> that's just the world now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, like, uh, but like, a good thing, a good motivation is never give up ever. If you are so good and so, if you're, you want to uh, pursue something, never ever ever give up. Okay, right. This scene, <laughs> I'm going to uh, be completely honest. I don't know who to be afraid of more, the Inquisitor or Ahsoka. Sure, the Inquisitor was terrifying, and his voice was like something from the Terminator had met Michael Myers. But Ahsoka, well, she cut his head off uh, like a piece of meat in a deli. That's a very weird metaphor. It only took her like ten seconds as well. It was just like leave her be, leave him be, okay? Ten seconds later, I would never do such a thing. Blah blah blah. <laughs> and there we are. So it's like cutting up sushi rolls. Um. Yeah, but like, Terminator meets Michael Myers. I put that together, you get this Inquisitor, whoever the hell you are. Um, yeah, like, this is quite funny. I think this is quite cool. Uh, this scene was really good. It was really anticipated in the series as well, but this was, like, peak. It was really, really good. So, um, yeah. And, then, and the, like, the picture, when he was introduced, I was just like, yep. I'm totally not shivering right now. And the way, like, his fingers and his lightsaber, oh my god. He was not afraid of anything. Alright, so, does it open doors for anything? I actually have more questions from this than I did at the start of the, uh, like, trilogy. Uh, uh, yeah, it is a trilogy. And I guess that is the whole point for all, uh, each of the Inquisitors, that is the different one. <sighs> Or is it the si or is it the sixth one? My head is around the place, but overall, I'm glad I watched it. It is good. I do recommend going watching this. Like, I do recommend someone going to watch this at least. Like, um, like they're all good. Uh, well, like you can't do good, great. Then you have this. Even like no, I can't say it's even better. Duck can't do good takes around. But like, it, Star Wars. Star, I have to give credit to Star Wars. Star Wars are good at doing, like, they... Oh, how do I say this? They, they, they always make sure they have something else to talk about. 
they always make um no they always make someone questioning so they have an excuse they have money and i think their problem is they have too much of it and they're like well you know what let's make more series so like i think this is a great opportunity look at andor that's doing really well and it's opening more doors so like yeah like i I think like they're doing really well and i think it's a great idea and um if more the more doors open the better my segment rating is seven out of ten Forget the thing on the bottom, because I know it says the exact same thing. I, I liked it. I, I wasn't overly struck on it. The problem I have is it needs to be better than it was. It needs to be longer. It needs to be better. Um, I kind of would have ra- rather had it in live action. I know that sounds bad, but I know that sounds like, oh, you're asking for too much. To be honest, it would have been less money. Animating takes a lot. You have to record every second of it. And like a Clone Wars episode was longer than this. Like so, yeah. I just think that there could, there could have been so much more done, and that's what I really would have wished for. So that's that's all my piece said, and that's that's my thinking. Well, we're not to the end. There's neither the these are now just standard questions from Tales of the Jedi. Leaving again. The worst episode was me. Though it was not the worst episode, I would like to make that clear. It just say to the other, t- uh, like the other, like others tower over this by substantially, and I would say that her origin, yes, it, as yes, I did say it was touching, but there was more action when, uh, then like t- there was more action than take uh, than talking, what, which uh, which made me kind of lose the interest, but I never give up on Star Wars like ever. I, I really physically can't. If I was to give up on uh, uh, Marvel or DC, I'd practically be giving up on life. But that's the thing. Like I have to get. I have to do this. Um, what do you call it? I have to kind of do this stuff. So, um, and I'm glad I did watch it. I wouldn't get to do this review. Blah blah blah. blah. You get what I mean. Best episode. Hmm. <laughs> I definitely say it was this one. This showed the true colors between the Jedi and the Sith, but this was the scene that was like when Obi Wan was fought Anakin on Mustafa. The Qui Gon, the Jin sadness, and all uh, that was just so great to see. Mainly because I had no idea when it took place. When Jesus went, I know you're hurting after uh, Qui Gon's death. I'm like, wait, what? Uh oh. Yeah, like kind of added the dots up for, t- for me, and I guess that's what like that's what they're supposed to do at least. Um, so. Yes, Misa, very happy that they did that. Uh, Misa, now I'm trying to do the jar jar pink thing. Misa think this was a good thing to do today this time. No, I can't do it. What was, I've now just bar- embarrassed myself to my subscribers. That was awful. Um, but yeah, I just, this episode was great. I have really enjoyed it. And I think that's, I could, you could tell that from like the first time I started. The series overall, I would give an 8.7. And this is what I stand by. The series does have its flaws, but I must give credit when credit is due. And it was good. Uh, it was a good idea, but could have definitely been better. The improvements could have been so much longer. Could have been a, ta- a tad bit more detailed and uh, more talking, please. It was more brooding than talking. Yeah. Just uh, thought I'd throw that out there. So yeah, yes, uh, yes. I think that's just a really good thing to uh, go off of. Like, it just does it have it just have its improvements, and this is something they could do for if they were going to do a next season. But I don't know if they are. So, but we'll get into that in a tiny bit. Now we're on to oh fan theories. Oh, oh, oh yes, I wanted to read these. I was actually quite curious to see what these are. So Plo Koon and Keanu Mindu will be the people of who shine in the next season because these are the characters who deserve as much spotlight as people like Liado. Oh God, but uh, it needs a lot more. What do you think? 
Um, I would love to see Keanu and Mindu and Plo Koon. I really think those are uh, things that would really characters that do deserve to be in the spotlight. I completely agree with that. Uh, yeah, I've, I desperately agree with that. The Inquisitor in the final episode may have been the old an old Inquisitor who never gave the lightsaber back, but he is not confirmed to be the sixth brother, but is uh, for sure an uh, in- Inquisitor. His actions also don't match, so thoughts? Um, yeah, I actually did, I did sniff that out, I was like, mm-hmm, this don't, this don't make no sense, uh, so, yeah, I do completely agree with you, um, I think he, may, I don't, they didn't confirm it was Six Brother, but they did, there was an article going out, like, in Tales of the Jedi, they'll show the, bit, like, the, uh, encounter between the Sixth Brother and, um, Ahsoka, so I don't know, because it is not confirmed that he is the Sixth Inquisitor, but he could have been an old one. I'd like that. Right. The old woman in the first episode could have been an old Jedi and was a counselor but left her to help her people. And that is why she quickly was able to identify that Ahsoka was force sensitive. What? Yeah, well... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess that kind of... Yes, actually. You know what? These three I am not ranking. They're all really solid uh, theories. So, Plo Koon and Kyadamundu, hell yeah. Inquisitor theory, that got daggity doll. Really cool. So, then the old uh, the, the old woman, yeah, she could have been an old Jedi. Doubt she was a counsellor, but definitely an old Jedi. Doubt she, she was just like, so how is this possible, Jedi? She was just like, yep, me know this, me know this. I, I mean no stupid. Yeah, she, she knew this, she knew that. Anyway, right, oh, okay, well, didn't know this was on here. In order to keep this train on the tracks, I think it needs to have more than important storylines. And if they keep up with these things like this, this season was, I think this will be a very popular series, but please make the episodes longer. Yep, I completely agree with that. Um, oh, actually, now that I see him, I think uh, Mace Window deserves, uh, like, a spotlight stand on this. Depending on how many series they decide to do, I think season two is inevitable. Um, this is not Marvel, though. But, like, I do think this is, is, uh, a season two should be in the works. But, yeah, again, you never know. Right, now I'm on to a... This is a big announcement. Well, well it's not a big announcement. I just think it's something I should announce. But I have a reddit page now so this is the austin community uh so welcome to the austin community if there is anything you would like to ask about my channel or have any updates or requests use this page my first channels are on second channel is on there um so yeah so you just ask if you comment comment down below what you would like to see and uh if i'll then you will get like the first dirt on here uh what will be coming up or like any events that i will probably do i've 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 planned i i do have plans for this uh like channel i know i know it's small but i do have plans not because i have high hopes it's because of what i enjoy doing so can't um so yeah just these are the things that um will be going on and uh, so come come join the austin community that's uh that's a good thing to say right well how do you like the new banner, guys? We got a new banner. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, this is our new banner. I, uh, if you haven't noticed on the channel already, uh, but yeah. Right. Well then, um, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, um, and uh, comment what you would li- else you would like to see on this channel, or go to the Reddit page. Um, and if you did, um, and. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, again, leave a like, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, everyone, I hope you uh, hope, hope everyone has a great day. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.